Welcome back everybody, Sefi Fishing. Today, I'm gonna to be using an ultra light rod and fishing, I think, I think I'm gonna be using a popper, I brought a popper, mondo worm, and the slim shake with me. I'm gonna be using that uh, Curry, see the gator's been out. And you're gonna question why the sun is out right now. And in the video, it's a lot darker. I went out earlier, but the light was too dark to film a good intro for you. Yeah, you know, I want to get that light, get that beauty. But waited till the sun came out to do your intro, and then uh, yeah, just get right into it. I'm using my ultralight fishing rod, but I'm using my reaver reel with my braid and a popper. We're starting off with a popper. We'll switch to a mondo so soon. This is called a Dewa Spin Spinmatic X. Dewa Spinmatic X this is an ultralight thing my grandpa gave me when we were fishing in New York and before I came back he gave me this pole and I think it's the lightest pole I own it's pretty pretty good pole I like it now I'm gonna hope I catch something it's early in the morning um like 620 right now it's been hot like the last week and a half and I've really been catching fish so I'm hoping it's probably not the best right it's ultra I think for a popper oh I got something right away right away I caught a fish right away first cast first cast I caught a fish can you believe that people can't believe that first no 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 all right well no worries people no worries we're gucci all right we're gucci we're gucci first cast i got a fish immediately all right he came on shore Decent sized bass. Don't worry, we're chilling. We're chilling. We're, we're relaxing. Now, the popper ain't doing exactly what I wanted to do. Because I think it's the rod. See, I just had a bass follow it up to the shore. Oh, that's a big bass. Not sure if this ultra light rod is the way to go with a popper, but first cast is probably the first. Oh, Jesus almost slipped. It's probably like the first thing of food they've seen today. So, I don't know, maybe I was just lucky. Now, this is definitely probably not the rod for top water. But I'm doing it because you know why? Screw the rules. Rules are meant to be broken. Not to my younger fans. Listen, anyone that's below the age of 10 or at least 11, 11 to 10, follow the rules. Alright, listen to what your parents tell you. And when it comes to fishing rules, like keeping size and stuff, yeah, listen to me then too. But when it comes to people telling you you have to use bait a certain way, use whatever you feel comfortable with when it comes to bait. Like this, like when you, you a certain technique, there's a crap ton of bass along the shore. Whatever you want to use, and however you want to use it, use it your way. Don't let people tell you you're doing it wrong. 
so I'm gonna keep walking down this way. I wanna make my plan to go back all the way back there and I'll make my way around to over there. Cause over there's a lot of grass and I really don't wanna, oh man, I don't really wanna like get my treble hooks stuck in that over there. Keep doing what I was doing. I had something just go after it. I remember watching a Scott Martin video and he was making sense. He says, if something hits your bait. I'm not sure the exact words, but this is what he was saying. But if something hits your bait, don't stop what you were doing. Keep doing what you were doing. Don't let the bait sit there. Now there is a super, 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 super big bass in here. I'm not talking about 10 pounds or 8. I'm talking about me like a 4 or 5 pound bass. And it hits in here. We've had two hits so far. Well, three? Almost three. We hit like, we got hit twice, got one. But it fell off right at the shore. It was pretty decent size. Oh, there's one going right there. Now I might, I might know a spot. All right, listen here. I might know a spot where some big bass might be at. Now you're probably watching this and be all like, Seth, you're using a popper wrong. But listen, I might be using a popper wrong. I don't want him to jump. He's big. He's big, and Cheese Whiz is right there. Ugh. Look at this biggin. Look at this biggin. And Cheese Whiz is coming right for me. Stop, stop. Look at this biggin. Look at him. Screw off, Cheese Whiz. Look at this biggin. Look at him. Screw off, Cheese Whiz. Look at him. Look at this biggin. Back off, cheese whiz. Look at this biggin. Look at this biggin. This is like, this is a three pound bass. He is heavy. He looks like he has some battle wounds. But look at this biggin. Look at that mouth. Look at that mouth. See him? See how big he is? It's a big old bass. We'll name you Shirley. Thank you, Shirley, for buying my line right now. Come on. Go on, Shirley. Yeah. There you go, Shirley. Yeah. Screw you, Cheese Whiz. That's mine. You see all that? Shirley's mine. Yeah. Big old bass off the popper. You know, my dad was right. He said, Seth, go in the morning. I see heat recently. Even if you go late at night, you probably won't catch them. But if you go early in the morning, you'll probably catch them. And that's what I did. And boom. Three pound bass. Three pound bass. I've gotten three bites off the popper so far. I've been here for like, maybe like 15 minutes. 15, 20 minutes so far. Got a bite over there, first cast. Got him on shore, popped off. I got another bite, missed him. Got a third bite. Big old bass. Big old bass. Big old bass. Man, that's the biggest bass I've had in a while. Like, that is... Wow! That's like my biggest bass in a good, like, month or two, man. Makes me feel happy. Whew! When I first started the channel, right? I thought I was gonna go right into the channel. We're catching a crap ton of fish. And that is not what happened. I was catching dinkers, right? And before I started the channel, it was like fall time. We were catching me and my dad like three bass a piece, three, three to six bass a piece, and they were big. Boom, started the channel, stopped. But that's also winter time. It hasn't really picked up for me since. Like I had a good couple runs, and then kind of everything just slows down for me after I started the channel. But listen, we're doing good right now. Come on, three bass today? 
I'm feeling great. That was a big old bass. I knew something was in that corner. I knew that big bass was around. Because every time we go along this shore, every time we fish along this shore, that big old bass shows up, but never bites. And I finally caught him. You remember, you remember the fish that I was talking about in my last video? Where I was like, there's a big old bass right there, and if I do all this, I could probably catch him. That's the fish I was talking about. The one I just caught over there, big old Shirley. That's who I caught. Big old Shirley in the beginning. A little good. He looked like the first one was a good like pound and a half. But that big old Shirley, oh man, that thing was heavy. I lifted her out of the water. Oh, she was heavy. And that's on the ultralight pole too. It's like fighting these fish is so fun and nice. What's going on with my pole here? Okay, hold on. I got some fixing to do. But man, on this ultralight pole too. You know, this this pole, man, I, I had I had a feeling about it when I first got it too. I was like, I'm gonna catch something on this. And you know what? I was gonna use this for um bait fish. That's what I was gonna originally use this pole for today. I was gonna go out and get bait fish. And I sat there for a good maybe half hour and I thought about it and I was like I was like nah let's go catch bass today and the popper was the last minute decision too I was only gonna throw mondo worms and slim shakes and I was like you know what let me try to find my smallest popper I saw this one and I was like yep you're gonna be my popper today. I had the feeling. I just had, I had that gut feeling. Like I wanted to break away. I have so many poles. Like if you don't know, I own a good. Ooh, some big smooth over there. I have a good thirty poles. I have at least thirty poles. And you see my usual stock. I use the Aculos rod, I use the Creature rods, I use the Cyclone reels, I use the Reaver. We use the, the Deluge, my dad has a Wraith. We use those all the time. And I was like, let me just break out of the normal and use this, use this rod for today. And it's paying off. I didn't want to change the reel, because I love the Reaver reel. It's my most trusty reel. Uh, all my other ones don't have really line that's like good. It's a lot of old line that I haven't really switched out. So I don't really use them. But, oh, that was sprinkler. Got scared for a second. I don't know what the hell that was. Hmm. I thought I was going to see some big bass on the shore over here. But, um, so far nothing. I'm not going to lie, I'm a little scared right now. You're probably like, oh, Seth, why are you tripping? It's just, you're most likely not going to find a snake. I am a very paranoid person when it comes to stuff like this. Because I've almost got bit by two water moccasins before. And I think coral snake. I think that's what it's called. Yep. A coral snake. I've almost stepped on one before. If you don't know what they look like. This, this is what they are. I'm going to continue walking. But yeah, I've almost stepped on one of those before. Oh, boy, that's bugs. Sorry. Mosquito. Oh, my God. Gnats. Whew. Oh, man. See how paranoid I am? Slim shake. There you are. Mm. There you are. Black and blue slim shake. Brought to you by Guggen Base. That's a big old bass. I think that's old Shirley. Going right towards Gator. I think the Gator's trying to hunt old Shirley. Don't you dare touch him, I swear. I'll fight you, Cheese Whiz. If you don't see what's happening behind me, it's old Shirley and Cheese Whiz are about to meet face to face. I'm gonna try this corner real quick before I leave. Talking for a good hour and a half, or no, like two hours. Thought I thought I heard snakes. Yes, I got scared. 
talking for a good two hours straight to you guys feel more connected with you let you know about my life wind's starting to come in wind is starting to come in all right all right boys cut to the outro now so today i caught first fish on first cast got it on shore came off the hook plopped back into the water seems straight um then you saw me catch i missed one sucks but at least i got like a hit on it and then you saw i catch a big old shirley that, that three, three pound four pound bass that thing was big it was heavy its mouth was huge and yeah caught that and then you saw me miss the other one before and then i think that missed another I'm gonna miss two more, I'm not sure, but I know I missed one on the slim shake. Sucks, but um, as you can see, again, again, we have a Cheese Whiz, our special guest Cheese Whiz. Fist bump? No? He's just falling in the water, his arms out. But um, Cheese Whiz was our little special guest again today. Okay, so my battery died when I was in the middle of the outro and I was talking about Cheese Whiz. So since I put in a new battery, so from then to now, it took me ooh, 10 seconds. Cheese Whiz has gotten closer. He's, he's gotten pretty close. So I'm gonna get this done, head home before uh, so I decide to take a little nip at me because I'm a little chubby kid. No, you know the gators love the chubby kids. I mean gators, that ain't Cheese Whiz. But hope you enjoyed today's videos. Hoping the fishing log keeps up a little bit. And pretty good so make sure you like comment subscribe and till next time fishing